Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. It's time for another video and uh, today I'm heading out to do a video uh, about uh, the Nomand uh, tank bag that I've been using uh, for the last uh, couple months. Uh, I bought it last year so that was pretty much at the end of the season and I've been using it for a bit and I want to share with you what are my observations and uh, what do I think about this uh, tank bag? This bag is uh, very, very well laid out. Uh, I am really happy with this purchase, even though it was not the cheapest one, but uh, I'm really, really satisfied with this purchase. Uh, prior to that, I had a GV XS series, uh, 300 series uh, tank lock uh, tank bag and that was a great bag as well. Uh, the only downside of that, it was uh, that uh, that bag was uh, slightly oversized uh, for what I needed. I'm trying to head out right now uh, towards a quiet uh, space outside uh, here outside of Calgary. I have something in mind and I will stop there and I'll go over all the details uh, about this uh, excellent bag. I think I should make a video about the Zumo GPS 2. Uh, I have the 595 uh, series and I should probably make a video on that. Uh, some of you were asking questions on that. Uh, when I was doing my accessory review. That unit has pretty much everything built into it and uh, it connects with my Sina. There is a new series that just came out recently but uh, the screen is way better on that new on those new units. But uh, they trimmed some feature off of it like some features that uh, the 595 had and the new generation that just came out recently uh, doesn't have those features anymore and uh, that's kind of a bummer the uh, main feature here is uh, on this unit here you have a removable battery uh, the other one has an onboard battery so that's a to me that's a big downside because if your battery is gonna uh, die on you and uh, you you coughed up like over 700 bucks on the GPS or navigation unit uh, that thing is pretty much uh, useless and uh, you're done with it and where this one here you can actually just swap the new battery and you're good to go again in the screen uh, the screen is so much nicer on that uh, on those new series yeah I'm just gonna turn around here and I'll have to find a nice spot to get that video going for you guys looks like it's gonna rain today it's raining in the forecast for later on hey guys and welcome to the channel again and in this uh, video I would like to talk about the Moscomoto tank bag and it's a Nomen series and a uh, lot of discussions what tank bag to get what works what doesn't I tried two different tank bags one of them was a GV XS302 uh, something uh, series that's a tank lock series uh, I was pretty happy with it but it was slightly uh, bulky if you're watching this channel for the first time make uh, sure to hit that subscribe button down below this way you stay updated when i release new content let's not waste any time and let's jump into this uh, review um moscomoro is the, did a great job designing this bag uh starting with your uh, moldy webbing so you can attach uh, additional accessories right here i'm just gonna unclip that so this way it's gonna be easier to maneuver this bag. So anyway, so there we go. So starting with your molly webbing, uh, so you, you can buy different attachments, like uh, you can attach a knife or, uh, or like a cell phone holder, even if you want to. And then what's behind this, so you, you got a couple um, clips here to undo it, and they call that a beaver tail and in here there is enough room to store like even a small slr camera 
and uh, if you're a photographer or if you like making videos or even your GoPro stuff but what I would do I would secure it there's a little velcro elastic that you can secure it or there's also this little carabiner that you can attach things uh, I had a loose stuff in here that flew out uh, when I was writing so make sure if you're putting stuff in here and it's valuable to secure it uh, with those um, attachments that you have available on this uh, Moscow Moto tank bag. Uh, so inside, let's hope we're gonna be able to focus this. Uh, so inside here, you have a mesh pocket uh, and also another mesh pocket that's uh, suitable. So there's uh, those mesh pockets here and there's the large one and this one here which is suitable for your uh, spot uh, lo uh, location gps locator or uh, in rich uh, the gps locator so that's what it's designed for but you can put pretty much anything you want in there so let's jump into the next compartment in here so you open that up and uh, what i love about this it's uh, super nicely organized. So starting with your sunglasses holder. Uh, so here it's all nicely lined. So you won't scratch your sunglasses. So you got a pocket for your sunglasses. And a um, couple other pockets with a little elastic webbing that, you, that holds stuff. So you tic tacs, uh, anything you want uh, to, to put here that's sort of flat. Uh, it's got a bit of space. Um, on the other side here, so what I'm carrying here, I'm carrying my sunglasses or glasses, uh, cleaning solution, tic tacs, uh, cigarette lighter, which comes handy if you're a smoker or if you want to start a campfire, it's there for you. And then uh, I have my, even though I do have a camel toe, sometimes you park on a on a soft ground and it's still sinking so this is the solution i got it from honda it uh, cost like a couple bucks and not a big go and uh, spare batteries uh, for your uh, whatever you're gonna need whatever you're using battery powered and uh, on the here on the top pocket i have my flashlight and i have my uh, leatherman multi-tool So that covers the inside of the first uh, section of that uh, Moscow Moto tank bag. And I will jump into the second compartment here. So the second compartment is uh, one of the largest compartments. So in here, like I usually have more stuff. I'm just uh, doing this uh, for a review purposes or whatever I had here. So I have, I have my, um, my alarm uh, for my bike. If I'm leaving the bike, uh, I have an electronic alarm. You can put it on your uh, on your disc brake and that will secure it. Or you can lock it uh, with the cable. And then I have my attachments for my GoPro that I'll be using uh, here on the, on the road. So anyway, so if you look inside, if you look inside, that's a quite large compartment. It also has on the side here um, contact lens uh, storage. Uh, I do wear glasses or contact lenses, so it comes handy. You can stick your contact lenses in there. A little uh, like map uh, pocket, so you can uh, shovel a bunch of navigation maps or other registration papers or for your um, for your bike or insurance. And then uh, in this big pocket here. On that side, uh, that's a pretty large um, mesh pocket again. I carry uh, spare cables uh, that I could use um, for my uh, cameras or anything that I need to charge or my Cena uh, transfer cables, couple spare parts, stuff like that. And then uh, once you go to the to the last section here so you have uh, in the front uh, rain cover with a clear clear window so you have your tank bag uh, rain cover uh, so you can cover everything up and uh, it comes of course with that nice uh, little storage compartment in there 
and then if you look on the back of this uh, tank bag it's got really nice and soft padding it's sort of like a neoprene uh, which uh, prevents uh, from scratching your bike um, one of the greatest features uh, what caught my eye with this um, tank bag is the versatility of uh, of this so you can pretty much wear it as a backpack uh, if you are a type of dude that will go for a hike uh, while you're riding or on your rides um, i should say uh, you can very easily convert that into a backpack which is an excellent feature so you, everything is stored inside everything is stored inside here in this pocket so you got your um, and you clip it together with the other parts. Right here you got the metal clips, so you just clip it in and it turns into an excellent shape backpack. So it's uh, actually, I wore it, it's really comfortable, it doesn't feel at all like uh, like a tank bag. It, uh, it lays on your back very well. So, yeah, uh, what else can I say? Uh, it's an excellent design for people on a go and uh, people that will, will love to uh, use the tank bag more than what it's designed for. So on the bottom in here, there's another small pocket. So there's not much room in there. There's just, just a tiny pocket, not sure right there. And then, on the furthest level, you can, so another excellent, excellent feature is your hydration pack. So that comes with the two liter um, hydration pack, uh, which, uh, which uh, is my, one of the main reasons why I went for this tank bag. Uh, I used to carry my uh, hydration pack on my back uh, separately, but this is all in one. And another beautiful feature about it if you remove that, that becomes another big storage or, or uh, on the bottom or, or that will expand the second last layer of your uh, tank bag. So that will make uh, much more volume uh, within uh, the whole uh, uh, tank bag. If you on the market for one, I really, really recommend it. Um, it's an excellent product. Um, even uh, the the, the the hydration hose the way it's laid out uh, on the side here there's a little zipped uh, insert and that the hose comes out it's got a nice uh, elastic that uh, holds it in place and on the other side here there's also a clip uh, that holds uh, the hose and so so it is in the front as well so yeah, look look at this design. It it blew my mind uh, when I uh, when I received that bag. It didn't look as good uh, on the picture when I was uh, browsing uh, the website. So the features of that bag, uh, I'm missing here one accessory that it came with. Let me let me grab that out. So what you get uh, is also attachable on top you can attach the little map pocket uh, it's uh, attaches to your molly webbing super easy and if you don't need it you can just toss it in the back uh, or whatever like i do and uh, use it as it uh, as it is so it comes with a quick release mounting system uh, it's gonna be hard to show that but i'll try my best all right so this is this is the way it's mounted. It comes with the heavy duty tie wraps uh, and you attach that little piece uh, to whatever. Uh, it fits pretty much any style bike. So you attach that little piece in there and uh, that's pretty much all that it's holding it. And it clips in this way on the bottom. The other side is uh, identical to that design. So the top part of this, um, of this tank bag. So the way you attach the harness uh, for this tank bag, it's pretty straightforward. You got uh, like a little H-shape uh, harness that uh, you will tie uh, around your 
steering uh, or handlebar column and uh, I have the little the air dam so I fed it under my air dam so it attaches right there there's two points and then another two points you will see as I show on the other side um, right here and all it is attached with is just a little zip tie that holds that whole thing in place and it's a heavy duty zip tie with a metal with a metal clip so this is how it looks uh, attached to your bike and of course you can adjust the length uh, of those uh, harness straps so it suits you to, to your uh, best uh, needs and same thing with those ones here for your for refueling purposes i will usually um, unclip either the top or the bottom harness uh, on both sides flip the bag over out of the way and it's refueled simple as that so the main body of this bag is constructed of 800 D ballistic nylon and uh, the map pocket, map pocket is uh, waterproof, 800 D polyurethane coated with uh, welded seams. Then the beaver tail is 1680 D ballistic nylon and uh, the rain cover with a clear PVC welded seam. Uh, uh, the capacity of this bag is 7 liters, uh, not including the beaver tail. So the dimensions of this bag are 15 inch length, 8.6 inches wide and 8.5 inches height. Uh, it weighs about 3.3 uh, uh, pounds. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please make sure to hit the like button, comment below and subscribe if you want to stay updated for when I release future videos. Until next time.